Hi and welcome. This week I thought I'd do something completely different. This is a project that I and my son Sean have been working on for the last year. It's called an organ clock, which is pretty obvious considering it has a, two octaves of organ pipes in the front. And the idea of an organ clock is that on the hour it actually plays a melody. Now organ clocks are nothing new. The first ones were made I think in the early 1700s and some of the famous composers of the era such as Handel actually wrote music for organ clocks. Now organ clocks are still being made today in small numbers by bespoke manufacturers around the world and if you do a search on Google you will find that there are a number available, though they are pretty pricey. So we decided we would build our own. Now this isn't a fully mechanical organ clock like all the others that are available, this one is a bit of a hybrid. So whilst it has uh, real pipes and a mechanical air system that actually supplies wind to those pipes, the actual pipes and the music is actually switched using an Arduino processor. So the first part of this video will cover the actual construction of the, uh, the actual instrument that you see here and we'll finish up with the uh, clock actually playing a tune. This is the back of the organ clock. Um, as you can see we've got an air reservoir here which is currently deflated. I can just lift that up and you can actually see it inflate and then it will slowly deflate. That's just due to uh, residual leaks in the system. On the top here we have the spill valve. This is actually part of the air regulation system so when the bellows are completely full, the air reservoir is full, this will be pulled over by this string and release excess air um, from the unit. At the back here we have a number of weights. These are used to set the wind pressure required uh, for the pipes. So you can actually change the number of weights here and that will vary the actual pressure in the wind system. On the back here, I've got the electronics on the back side of this door, so we'll just fold that down. Underneath here, you can actually see the two bellows. This particular bellows is closed. This one is open. The bottom here is a simple crank mechanism and there's a worm drive electric motor over in the corner here. Now the actual uh, design of these bellows was done by my son. Um, as I said earlier, he did most of the design work on this. I can actually cut in some uh, photographs of the inside of the bellows. There's a little card glued to the back of these pleats to uh, hold them into the correct shape. Same with the air reservoir. So, you know, and this technology, the way these are built, is pretty much the same as on a period busker organ from a couple hundred years ago. You know, people still making busker organs and this organ clock air system is based upon that. Now there are limitations using that style of air system. It's so small and compact, it really doesn't have uh, the reserve of wind that you need to drive these pipes properly. So they do sound a little bit like a, a, a fairground organ as opposed to a proper church pipe organ, but that's all in the nature of this style of instrument. You know, they're not really uh, full on musical instruments, they're more uh, novelty than anything else. On the back here, we've got our uh, electronics. So there are relays with uh, leather pads underneath each pipe in the wind chest. I'll intercut a photo of that here. And at the back here I've got an Arduino processor on this side here and there's uh, four relay boards. Um, the one on the end here drives the electric motor and the rest of these are for each individual pipe. Now the reason we used relays was really because of simplicity. We probably could have used electronic switching but these relay boards are really cheap. I think they're six or seven dollars each. So really there wasn't a lot of money involved in that. Even the Arduino boards, I, from memory, I think were under thirty dollars. So it's pretty, you know, the electronics really were the cheap part of the project. On the back corner here, I've got a number of fuses. There's one for the electric motor, one for the relays in the wind chest, and another one for the electronics here. And we've got three buttons at the back here. Uh, one is to trigger off the, uh, the clock circuit. 
Now, for some reason, the uh, quartz clock that we're using actually triggers the, uh, the chimes five minutes early. So that uh, particular push button is just across that circuit and that has a five minute delay um, so that it actually, the chimes right on the hour. The second one here is to trigger off the musical chimes um, directly. And the final button here is the tuning button. So that allows you to step through each pipe so that you can actually tune them. Now there's uh, two ways of tuning them. Um, you can actually tune them using the stopper on the top of the pipe. They're called what's called stopped pipes. Now we've used wooden pipes, not metal pipes, um, mainly because of cost. Um, my son actually bought these particular pipes from an organ builder in Melbourne. And the uh, relays in the wind chest he also bought from the same source. So, and they weren't that expensive. There's a lot of old organs being decommissioned, so really it's, it's pretty easy to get hold of a, a set of uh, suitable pipes if you're thinking of building something like this. Well, I think we should finish up with a performance from the organ clock, so I'll just close it up, rotate it around, and trigger it so that you can actually listen to a couple of minutes of organ clock music. Now, we haven't finished the regulation and tuning of the pipe yet. There's still a bit of minor work to be done, but you'll get an overall idea of uh, what it sounds like and typically what uh, instruments of this type would have sounded like um, back in the day. I'll catch you next time. Thank you.